Okay, so uh, we put Junior here, and today we're going to do a video a little bit different than the stuff we normally do. We're going to show you how to sustainably wrap gifts. Um, so actually a lot of people don't know this, but if you wrap something with normal wrapping paper and use plastic tape on it, it's not recyclable if the plastic tape is on the wrapping paper. And, you know, the other thing is wrapping paper is just kind of wasteful because, you know, you don't know where it came from. Was it recycled before or not? So what we're going to do is we're going to take like these Trader Joe bags. You can also use like any other type of paper that you already have. Like if you save wrapping paper from gifts that you got before, if it wasn't destroyed, you can use that. You can use, you know, bags like this. If you get like, you know, that plain, sometimes there's paper like this when you order stuff online used as packing material. You can also use that. So it's as long as it's paper you already have. If you're really next level, you can use fabric. But anyway, I'll show you how to break down one of these uh, paper shopping bags to get the most out of it. So first you're going to remove the handles. You could probably make a bow or something out of this if you're really crafty, but, you know, I don't know how to do that and I don't care enough. So, yeah. Okay, we're getting rid of that. Oh yeah, also the other thing you need for wrapping stuff sustainably is some type oh, of yes. twine. This comes from plant yeah. matter. It's biodegradable. So you can use, you know, this type of thing. It's, it's good. Yeah, so okay. paper you already have or something like that. Okay. So now that you've removed the handles, you're going to look for, like, there's going to be a seam somewhere on the bag. Sometimes it's on the side, sometimes it's on the back. So you're slowly going to go down the seam. If you have an X-Acto knife, that can probably help you with this. But, you know, you don't rush this. Like, you can't do this quickly. So carefully do this until we get to the bottom. It's not always perfect, but this is how you get as much paper as you can possibly get out of the bag. And okay, now that we've come to the bottom, it's a little tricky. You're going to keep working your way down the seam and then just kind of carefully, you know, peel this part off. This part's really annoying. You just wanted to cut out the bottom and not even bother to use that. Okay, yeah, see, and I've already screwed up right here. Uh, that's but, fine. Yeah, but that's fine. Yeah, this is actually how they used to wrap gifts when plastic tape wasn't a thing. So we're not really showing you anything new. This is just, you know, stuff that a lot of people have forgotten since, I don't know, plastic tape became a thing. <laughs> I don't even think people consciously think of, like, tape as, like, plastic. There's like, oh, that's just tape material. Yeah. Like, I, I've never really thought of it that way either. Right, anyway, <laughs> so now we've, okay, still got to work some of the corners. We have our big piece of paper to work with. Nice. So depending on the size of the gift that you have, and we can totally show you this gift because the people who are going to get it aren't going to be watching this video. <laughs> this channel's not for kids, a reminder. Right. YouTube Papa. Okay, so now you have to figure out the best way to do this, which can be kind of tricky at first. You want to get it to the point where we're going to wrap it, fold the thing over itself. Like if we look at the back of this one that's done, okay, the back looks kind of nasty, but the top looks all right. I don't know, it kind of has like a rustic look to it. Some people like that. It fits their Instagram or whatever. Nice. Um, yeah, so, you know, we would fold it over kind of like this. We want to wrap it in on itself, like fold it over if you have enough. We're going to kind of fold it over like this. It'd be funny, you give this to kids, they're going to think they got some boring crap from Trader Joe's, <laughs> but it's actually a fun game. I don't know, maybe you have weird kids that like Trader Joe's. Okay, so we fold it like this, that's good. Um, yeah, and, oh yeah, and if you have tips for doing a better job than I'm doing at this, I don't. Th I think I'm going to use the whole piece here. Okay, yeah. Just because this is a bigger game, I didn't use the whole piece for the last one because it was a smaller game, and if you have ah. leftovers, you can use this for wrapping smaller things. Okay, so let's see. So this, yeah, we're gonna fold like this. I might trim off this spot here just because this looks kind uh, of like yeah. an absolute mess. Uh, it's not terrible, it's, it's better than what I bad. usually do. <laughs> okay, your gifts look like bombs. <laughs> I'm not joking when I say presents he's wrapped me look like they're bombs. Yeah, they're terrible. And he would just cover the whole thing in tape and make it look... Okay, so now this does not look so bad nice. from the top. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take some twine. And, okay, we folded it... Okay, no, we folded it the other way. We folded it this way. 
So we're going to slide it around this way first because this is what we want to keep tied. So we're going to flip it over and bend this stuff around to hold it together because we are not holding it together with tape. Mm. Actually, no, this, this looks kind of nasty. I'm going to trim this part off just All right. because it's, I'm having OCD. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't want to say I'm having OCD because there's people <laughs> who actually have OCD. Okay, so anyway, yeah. So do this. I'm going to wrap that around. I'm going to get a little bit extra because we want to go around it maybe like twice or so. Actually, no, I'm not going to yeah, take a little bit more. It's always okay if you have a little bit extra. And this twine is dirt cheap. Okay, so anyway, now that we have this, we're going to take it, we're going to twist it around itself. We're not going to tie a bow just yet, but we're going to go around in this direction one more time because we want to make sure it's being held together. Yeah, because, you know, when we ship it in the mail, we got to make Another sure Another thing gonna... about wrapping your presents this way, if you want to keep the gift a secret from people that you think are going to unwrap it <laughs> ahead of time, they if they know what they're doing, they can totally conceal that they open their presents. So if you're going to wrap gifts this way, I suggest hiding them. Ah, uh, that's true. Yeah, because you just have to untie and retie the ribbon. Yeah. I can't think of any other security measures that you should put in place here. But anyway, okay, so we got this. All right, we're going around again. So we're going to go around a second time. Yeah, and you may need to adjust the length of the string on either side, depending on how you're doing it. Now we're going to go around this way. tie those together okay one side's getting a little bit short but i think we might be able to go around one more time let's see Maybe one guy can go around one more time so we'll do that and we're gonna loop you underneath here and loop this one around just to secure it uh, maybe you could do some crazy little loop technique. They'd have to be careful and replicate. And if they don't replicate it, you'll know they spied on what their gifts are. <laughs> okay, yeah, so now you're tying it. And, you know, you just double knot it so they have a harder time unwrapping it and figuring out what it is they got. Okay, now this this looks like a mess. I'm going to fix the nice. bow. I'm going to fix the rustic. bow. Okay, whatever. Okay, so it looks like this. And yeah, there you go. So these are some sustainably wrapped gifts. The paper is totally biodegradable and it's reused and the twine is totally biodegradable and you can reuse it for stuff too. So yeah, so go save the planet, uh, save money on wrapping paper too. I mean, cool. people could accuse you of being cheap, but you know, you can decorate this nicely too. Like you can write people's names on here. You know, you can put little decorations on them. Like you can use stamps and really make the paper look nice if you're not using paper that already has a design on it. So, I don't know, you guys, have you done anything like this before? Um, yeah, so let us know what you think uh, in the comment section. And remember to like and subscribe. We put out. Yes.